Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel today. It's beginning to look a lot like Stitchmas. <laughs> So, um, we bought a stitch topper for our tree, which I'll show you a picture of the top of the tree here. You can't really see it from the ground. No, because it's 12 feet up in the air. And stitch is very small, apparently. So, um, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe, uh... Get a spotlight? <laughs> a little stitch spotlight up there somewhere. Anyway, today is all about Christmas ornaments that we have gotten. We have a very... Uh, I was going to say a hard and fast rule, but someone occasionally violates that rule. Look, I counted. There's the exact number there should be. We restrict ourselves to buying three Disney ornaments per year because otherwise... We will buy every ornament yeah. in the Christmas shop <laughs> and have tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt that's nothing but Christmas ornaments. Yeah. All right. So these are Christmas ornaments from what, last year and this year? Um, This year, last year... They're technically supposed to be for the last three years, so, but most of them were bought this year and last year, yes. All right, let's go through them then, shall we? Um, so, here is the Reluctant Dragon, which, uh, in case you were curious what we thought about the Reluctant Dragon, we, we made a video about that, we watched it. Um, this was the 80th anniversary of the Reluctant Dragon. I do recall that you weren't super impressed with the Reluctant Dragon as a piece of film. No, but... So why the ornament? Because we saw it. It's like, I feel like the Reluctant Dragon, the short, was good. It's just the rest of the movie was kind of dumb. The whole story with the man going to the studio and... Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, but the actual animated film that's within that film of the Reluctant Dragon, I thought was quite good. Uh, not, I mean, it was good. I won't say for quite. a 1930s or 40s Disney yeah. film. These are in no particular order, by the way. So, what's the, what's the other one that you want to show? The, the other one. I mean, just pick one that you want to show. <laughs> so, I believe I showed this one when we bought it. But this is from the Festival of the Arts this year. It features, of course, Figment. Figment. And it is one of the only pieces of Festival of the Arts merchandise this year that had any color on it whatsoever. Okay. Uh, anything else about it? It's, it's a figment. No, it's, it's, figment it, it, it's cute. It's a figment portrait. And honestly, the reason I bought it was because it had color in it. It was figment. It, the, the Festival of the Arts merchandise this year sucked. Yeah, we haven't gotten around to putting ornaments on the tree yet. We've, we literally just put the tree up earlier yeah. tonight. We're actually going on a cruise Thanksgiving week, so we probably won't put ornaments on until after Til Thanksgiving. Until we get back. <laughs> uh, this is a Jungle Cruise Mickey ear ornament. That's that's a that's a hybrid. That's a that's a hyphenated word that I didn't ever think I'd say. A Mickey ear Jungle Cruise uh, <laughs> ornament uh, with the little skipper and the hippo and the uh, the chimps. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I have nothing more to say about that. This That was not one this year. That was last year or the year before. I forget which. Okay, what's next? <laughs> I knew you were going to go for that one. Yes, we'll go with more figment. Mm -hmm. This is from the Festival of the Food... The Festival of the Food and Wine. <laughs> the Festival of the Food and Wine. The Food and Wine Festival oh, from favorite. this year. Yes. Uh, figment, purple, paint your palette purple, cute... Uh -huh. I mean, that's half the reason we buy Christmas ornaments is because they're cute and also because we have a 12-foot tree and we have to fill it up somehow. Uh, this is the Aristocats, not to be confused with the Aristocrafts. That's us. Uh, but this is Duchess uh, Princess... No, not Princess. That's <laughs> our cat. Duchess... What's her name? Marie. Marie Toulouse and Berlioz. Uh, Alyssa Lefferson is going to be so mad at you. Alyssa Lefferson. Alyssa Alyssa Lefferson just had a child. She's very busy taking care of her child. She has no time to watch our videos and to complain about them. So, <laughs> unless you are watching, hi Melissa. I, Alyssa. Melissa. All right, internal joke. We call her Melissa. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. What's next? <sighs> that Ariel ah. strutting her stuff in her dress made out of a dirty sail. Is her arm missing? No, it's behind her head. 
Oh. It's going into her head because they couldn't get it to go through the hair. But it's like, got it, got it. All right. Uh, let's see. This is the, uh, so Ariel and Flounder. And, and Sebastian and Scuttle. Scuttle. Yeah, nice. This is one. Um, does it make noise? Yeah, it does. Uh, this is one. Let's see if I can get you to hear it. Ah, you look great, Trek. Have you seen a bird? Hi there. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. It's Doug. Uh, it's the Talking Doug ornament. Uh, this one was last year. And uh, super cool. I, I know that because all the ones that we got this year have the date on them. <laughs> because we picked the ones from In the... In fact, I don't see the ones from this year. Where's the, the stitch car and the... Uh, oh, uh-oh. Are they um, over on the table? Yeah, possibly. Uh, all right, so go ahead. You can do this one. We'll look for it in a second. It's all right. Through the magic of editing, we'll find it. <laughs> I thought I grabbed them all. So this one I had to order from Shop Disney mm -hmm. without a discount, mm -hmm. which I'll forever be mad about. Actually, no, no, no. I bought this because they were running a discount. Oh, so now you're not mad. About it, it was discounted and we got an extra 20% on top of it. Well, there you go. So this is a light. I love how in the course of 30 seconds, you went from being mad about not getting a discount to, oh, no, I got I... a double discount. Look. Leave me alone. <laughs> so this is from one of my favorite movies. It's the 101 Dalmatians. It's Lucky mm -hmm. sitting in front of the television, and it also lights up and makes noise. I'm not going to press the button because it's like a 30-second sound clip, though. Yeah. It's the, the intro to the, the Further Adventures of Thunderbolt. I was expecting the Canine Crunchies commercial, which is the other piece of audio from that. Uh, this is a Muppet Vision 3D 3D uh, ornament. It's got Piggy, Fozzie, Kermit, and on the very back, it's got Beaker and Dr. Melvin Honeydew, uh, as well as Gonzo uh, and Waldo. So the spirit uh, of 3D. This is the. Uh, this is also last year. So uh, what we're going to do real quickly is we're going to find the ones that we bought this year that are not here. One moment, please. <sighs> I lied. And we're back. I yeah. forgot that because we had, some, we have more than we're supposed to. Go so. ahead, show yours, Zach. <laughs> so this is from the Pride collection this year. Mm -hmm. On the back, it's got the castle and it says One Disney Family. Mm -hmm. And on the front, because we stole the one that had the year already printed on it from the display in the shop, it's a got 2022. All right. First of all, we did not steal it. We purchased it with our own money. We've, it even says, so if you've never been into the Christmas shop in Disney Springs, they will personalize ornaments by putting the date on them or something else, something, whatever you would like. Uh, and it's a $5 upcharge for them to put a line of text onto your ornament. They have displays of those out, and there are duplicates of on the displays, and the price tag already has the plus five written on it. So we we didn't steal it. We took it off the display rack, and we, we did pay for the personalization. So just wanted to clear that up. Did not steal it. And on the front, or the back, depending on how you view it, it's got Mickey, and he looks real. Mickey and Minnie look weird on this. Like their eyes are wonky. Yeah. And it's also got G Gonald, Donald, Goofy, and uh, the most important character of all Pluto. Pluto. All right. And then finally, uh, we got this cool stitch and his little spaceship. Uh, it says 2022 on the side of it. He's got uh, Christmas lights. Now we have additional stitch ornaments that we've gotten in the past that also have him eating Christmas lights and other things like that. So Stitch will be re well represented on the tree, but uh, this is the, the latest one here, the little Stitch one. So there. Uh, and those are all the ornaments that we got. Now, you also got some pins. Yes. Just in case Alyssa is watching. Pins. <laughs> With an I, not an E. Mm -hmm. Um. And they are uh, here. These are Christmas pins, so you want to go through those. Well, two of them are Christmas pins. Okay. So every year, uh, Disney does a gingerbread house series and a series for all of the resorts mm -hmm. across the entirety of at least the North American continent. Mm -hmm. um, I did not buy a whole bunch of them, largely because the resort pins this year were kind of wonky and ugly. Yeah. But... 
I love me some Little Mermaid. So we got the Beach Club, and she I think she always represents the Beach Club, because why wouldn't she? It's got Ariel and Ursula, and um, once again, R.I.P. Pat Carroll, the voice of Ursula, who died earlier this year, on the front. And then it spins around, and it has the conch shell. It's it, it's supposed to look like an ornament on this okay. side. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Uh, the other Christmas ornament that he got is a figment gingerbread ornament. So this is from Epcot. Uh, this is a figment gingerbread ornament. Is that supposed to be the American Adventure? That, that is supposed to be the American Adventure that he's flying in front of with the Epcot logo in his hand. Is it? Or is that that gingerbread house that they set up in the world show place? Remember the- That the looks gin- like the American Adventure? But it's not, right? I mean, let's be honest. The American Adventure was modeled after Independence Hall. Yes. So it's like, this could have been their gingerbread Independence Hall. Uh, anyway, there you go. Epcot, gingerbread- Enough said. And uh, did, there's one more pen. Did you want to show the pen? Two more, actually. No, that one was one that came out of the stuff when we were moving. If you're wondering why we're not in our studio today, and instead of just, you know, obviously setting up in front of the tree, like being all thematic and everything, it's because we just replaced all the flooring in our upstairs with uh, laminate flooring, and it is very echoey up there right now. So we're working on getting some rugs and some other dampening stuff up there so that when we do a video up there, it also, doesn't echo. we just haven't put the studio back together yet. So so anyway, this is the final pin here. You can do yes. this. This one, I'm actually, I am a little disappointed in this one because the images made it look a lot clearer. This is from the Vault Collection, which celebrates Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. Hmm. And it's a map of the Magic Kingdom as it existed in 1971. Mm-hmm. Except you can't really see anything. It's really blurry. Yeah, it is very, very, very blurry. And very tiny. And while I don't yeah. feel like I wasted money on it, it's honestly not my favorite pin the longer I look at it. But, oh well. So this is a pin that we found when we were cleaning things out uh, of my office. And uh, it's a very old pin. I'm not sure when it's from. It probably has a date stamp on the back but the the most impressive part is is that the price of it it was six dollars and fifty cents <laughs> which eh, last time I bought a pin for six dollars and fifty cents was quite a while ago this is Donald and I can't see who that's who it's with it's a black and white ish pen uh Donald and there's a dog a dog Donald and a dog sure I don't think it's I'm not that. familiar enough with Donald to know We'll have a close-up of the pin. If you know who the dog is in that image, please leave it in the comment section yeah. down below. Donald and some unknown dog. Hey, if you like what we do here on this channel, which is kind of all over the road, uh, we do a lot of Disney content. We do a lot of Disney pins content. Uh, sometimes we do cruise content. We will be. We're yeah. going on a seven-day Caribbean cruise on the Holland America Line New Staten Dam over Thanksgiving week. We will be doing a vlog for that. We're not going to vlog every day like we did with our Royal Caribbean cruise. Yeah. It'll probably be either one or two. Like an yeah. overview, basically. Yeah. Uh, it just got a lot to do a seven-day cruise video where it's like, we're not really a cruise channel, no. so like just spending that much time doing the video. And we didn't even ever finish editing <laughs> days six or seven to put out because... It's like, uh, Those were also ship days, and we didn't do yeah, a whole didn't lot. Do a, yeah, didn't do a whole lot. Anyway, uh, we, we didn't do the final. Day seven was Bouchard Gardens. Oh, yeah. We would have been nice, but uh, yeah. maybe I mean, we'll we, we can out. still put it out at some point. Some point. Anyway, if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Interact with us. We love uh, hearing from you. Zach will reply at some point in time. Uh if you're new to the channel and, you know, we haven't scared you off by being completely all over the map, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, do We're that. close to 1,100. We were at 1,100, and mm-hmm. now we're a little below that, but... It's, it bugs him a lot. It, it, <laughs> it really does. Even though, <laughs> even though we know that the number of subscribers is absolutely not important, what is important is the watch hours and whatnot, so it doesn't really matter the number of subscribers so much anymore, but... Zach gets very upset because that number is going down. (laughs) I would like to see it go up. So please make Zach happy and uh, hit the subscribe (laughs) button. Anyway, uh, you can reach out to us on our socials, our information down below in the doobly-doo. And uh, until next time, see you real soon.